welcome fire signs i'm here to do your messages from spirit for the week of august 17th to the 23rd 2020 and this week i'm doing it a little differently i'm going to do all the fire signs here the theme or the message and then i'm going to break it down to get a little individual message for each sign fire sign which is aries leo and sagittarius so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into it. And I apologize if there's any uh, extreme, sudden, loud noise. <laughs> but we're going to do the best that, so you can hear the message and uh, get the message across from Spirit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin with the tarot cards. Ooh, we have death. And um, death is not like actual physical death, so don't be afraid. It's more about transformation deep change actually it's a good card because it means things are transforming and changing um, letting go of an old identity or belief um, removing the mask that you've been wearing so you can merge into that new identity um, clearing away unhealthy um, behaviors or an old identity that doesn't serve you anymore so that's that all right fire signs next one we have the tower wow two major right away the tower is about a life-changing upheaval. So it could have already occurred or get ready, it's about to. This is uh, like an explosion. It's uh, undeniable change. It could be a blow to the ego. Um, it could, it's just definitely a major change. Um, but the thing is that it leads to your the new cycle and tremendous growth. So that makes sense with this death. This is the old cycle dying out, the new, the old uh, belief system, the old identity, and this tower come in and yeah, just shook it and it's getting rid of it. So let's see what comes after that. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is like an apprenticeship. It's like productive, satisfying work, uh, working with good results. Uh, could be possibly learning a skill or trade on an apprenticeship, like I said. And it's important to pay attention to detail and don't take shortcuts, just enjoy the work because it has a uh, um, good benefit outcome to it. So that could be after these two things happen, now you're doing the learning a skill or throwing yourself into a job or learning something. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Wands, I think someone else got the Queen of Wands. This is a charismatic person, a leader. It's usually a mature female who's coming to her own. She's full of energy, passion. She appreciates life. She has uh, a lot of self-knowledge, quick mind, and you know, she usually follows her gut instincts. She's a leader, but she's uh, has empathy, so she's an um, understanding leader. So, And then we have the Page of Swords. So, this card is somebody sticking up for themselves. So again, that makes sense with these cards here. Sticking up for yourselves, defending your beliefs or your ideas. You could have a little bit of a rocky train where people are confronting you with that, but you have to stand your ground. Don't let your emotions take over. Keep your head uh, in a logical space. And think clearly, okay? So that's those. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a couple chakra cards here. We have sod, so I'm thinking that this has something to do with this tower and death. You know, maybe something wasn't as it appeared and it just come come crashing down. It just come crashing down and now it's, the uh, transformation has occurred. So you can, um, you know, do your work diligently and satisfactory by being this queen of wands, sticking up for your beliefs, staying in your ground and just getting rid of that facade and then we have wisdom yeah you're using your wisdom now you got a clear mind you're moving into your next cycle full of wisdom inner strength and then we have passion ignited yep now your passion's ignited you're more clear you're ready to go do your work and you're taking the lead now you're that leader. You're not letting all that crap from the past or that disillusionment affect you anymore, that facade. So, 
so good. So far, good. So good. Fire signs. Let's see what else. Set your course. Yeah. Know when and know where you wish to go. Have a plan and the right decision. Yeah. So you're getting your decisions together, deciding what you want to do next with this new movement forward. You know, now that you have the clarity and got rid of that, uh, that towers come down. Now you're like picking up the pieces and getting your mind clear and standing up for yourself, defending yourself and moving forward with a clear path. And then you have the storm angel, which is collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies. Yep. So there might be people that trying to come against you. Um, you know, saying, you know, no, do it this way, you're wrong, and then you're just standing your ground. You're not getting all into that um, collision and conflict. You're just moving forward into that new beginning. All right, so let's get this card here. We have Whale Orca and Elders. Share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. Yeah, you're going within, you're diving deep to see what you want in life. Um, getting rid of that illusion that was up, that conflict starting your new path, singing your own song, being your authentic self. It's beautiful. Healing. And then we have nature spirit. So nature spirit it looks like maybe you could ground, get out in nature. I'm going to go ahead and read an extended of this card, but you know, that's what it looks like with that beautiful path. And also, yes, this is like your path forward, that new beginning. You're moving forward into that light. So let's go ahead and read the card. Nature Spirits. Let me find it in the book. Nature Spirit. Okay, here we go. Nature Spirit. The card meaning is joy and delight, peaks of carefree abandon, living wildly, magically, and free. Be open to the wonders of the universe flooding into your life. Well, that's just perfect for that new beginning, right? That transformation. Innocence and delight are abounding. Happiness is on its way. Our native, your native spirits want you to know. Almost every indigenous culture recounts stories of fairies, often called little people, and nature spirits. Although some of the fairies act in protection of their wild lands and should be treated with care and respect, most often they bring blessings and delight into your realm. If the nature spirit card chooses you, then welcome to a wellspring of joy and magic beneath the surface mystical inventions are occurring in your life relax all is well yep so yep you're going to that new path your abundance your true self now we're going to go ahead and get these map cards and for some reason all the um when i first started shuffling three fell out so i just kept it even through every element three cards of the map so we have encouragement yeah you know now you're feeling encouraged you're feeling less burdened from all that stuff that's crashed down. It, it was hard. You went through your healing and a little pain, but now it's you're getting back up on your feet. And you're making a choice to move forward onto your highest path. And look again. Look at this path. Right now you're just trying to decide. There's two doorways. You just had this tower crash and you have to walk across. And you're trying to decide which pathway you want to take. Which is my true self? Which one is calling me? So, making a choice. Yeah, you can stay stuck back here. You just wallow in the hurt and all that. But no, you're transforming and you're going towards these doorways. And then we have moonlight. Moonlight, moon is all about reflecting, going within, You like an illusion. So... Something was eluding you and now you're reflecting and going within. This is your intuition also. So intuition. I'm going to go ahead and just check this one out and see if there's an added message. But that's mostly what the moonlight is about. Sorry about that. <laughs> just trying to turn the page and hold this. Yeah. You're, it, this says, your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical, and analytical followings. Moonlight beckons. Come and trust your intuition and to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. Resist second-guessing yourself, for alternative perception is especially sharp right now. 
you can see beyond the surface of things you truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound, or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. Yep, so definitely listen to your intuition right now. It'll help you out making this choice. Help you in your highest self. So it's giving you support, little nudges, signs, synchronicities. So pay attention to them, okay? All right, so now we're going to get into the individual signs. Of course, we're going to start with Aries here first. Let me just grab a drink, please. I'll be right, right back. My water, I had it over there, but I put it behind me. Okay, all right, so Aries, let's see what your extended little message is. More detail. Wow, look at that! You got your sign, Aries. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries, yep, Aries, and that's what we do, right? We might wallow a little bit and go within and kick yourself a little bit, but then. We're like, well, it's not going to keep me down. And then we get up and take action. Right? Sometimes without even thinking. We just get up and do it. It's just our nature. So. And then it says, for Aries, what passion am I ready to pursue? Yeah. You're trying to figure this out. Like, okay, this happened. It sucked. But now it's time for me to get back into my passion. Nobody's going to keep me down. Your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Today's soul action. Write a list of the passions to which you want to give life right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let passions draw you towards your dream life. Yep. You're drawing toward that. And you know what, Aries? It might have been somebody really disillusioned you and... and you know made you feel bad that's where that tower came down and uh you know a little self blow to the ego you know you can't understand why somebody would do that to you or whatever and now you've had time to heal and you're like i'm not letting that person take over my life they're not worth it i know i'm worthy of more so you're getting back into your passion you're taking action and it's a sign yeah your happiness you're getting your happiness back. You're not going to let that old whatever happened before keep you down, right? Paint the sun back into your sky. Yep, you're bringing that sun back into your sky now. You know you're worthy of it more than whatever that person treated you like. Okay, and then you have friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. So now that you went into this hermit mode and been on your own and got your, your stuff together and you're bringing this little happiness you're ready to go out and meet better level people higher vibing people you're not going to stay stuck in that anymore you're just going to go out slowly and find your soul tribe people that really have your back and care for you and then you have your living work of art you're always becoming your true self yep and you're working on becoming your authentic self which aries a lot of times do don't really hide things but you know, maybe you were a little bit to uh, fit in, and now you're just becoming this beautiful work of art. So that's your message, Aries. I hope that helped. And now we're going to go ahead and get into Leo's. Oh, I'm just going to get another drink real quick, Leo. Excuse me for one minute. All right, so Leo, let's get yours. Okay, so you have the energy is gaining momentum, the waxing moon. Yeah, so now that you've went through that tower, Leo, and the death and transformation, now it is, you're getting back up on your feet. It took a while, you had to heal, gain your self-worth back, your self-confidence, and now that it's starting to gain momentum, whatever it is you're trying to achieve, your abundance, your life mission. Who am I comparing myself to right now? Yeah, so you might have like, uh, you know, maybe something happened. I'm not saying it did, but maybe if somebody chose somebody else over you or took somebody else's side over you, you might have felt like, you know, why them and not me? What's what's better about them? And 
all that. So you have to stop doing that comparing. You're worthy, you're unique. What are you able to see in another is only visible because it's within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light on the feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need is in, well, and want is within you. Yes, it's all within you and it says shine your light. Stop comparing your, and start creating. Yeah, don't compare yourself to them. And then besides, if somebody hurts you or treats somebody else, their uh, level is, they're not, it's not worth it. You don't need to Sorry, I'm gonna drop something there, Leo. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's next. Oh, yes, you already have all the answers. Yeah, you have all the answers already. They're within you. You might have doubted yourself and compared yourself, you know, but now you're back on your voyage. You already have the answers within. You've contemplated, you healed. Now you know to move forward. Okay, and then this card. We have discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Yeah, so whatever happened, you might not have known all the details. You might have thought it was better. Maybe you're seeing it on social media and it was looking pretty good and you don't know why not you. So use your discernment. Not everything is as appears. People don't show their shadows. They try to pretend like they're happy and all that. So don't, don't get sucked into that, Leo. And then we have this card here. Make a journal of your creative destiny, a very beautiful, intricate picture of your dreams. Yeah, so sit down and write your intentions, your goal. We're going to have the uh, new moon coming up in your sign of Leo on the 18th. That's a great time to make, put your intentions out there. So, you know, sit down and write your intentions, really focus on them. And maybe you can do like a little ceremony or something for the uh, full moon coming up. I mean, the new moon coming up, I'm sorry, on the 18th which is just two more days. So that's something you probably should do. I think that's probably a good thing for you to do if this is resonating. Okay, so we, that's got Leo down. Now we're gonna go ahead and get Sagittarius. Okay, Sag, see what you got. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So whatever this uh, tower was and the death card of transformation coming in, um, you might have been hurt, you might have been really resentful and wanted revenge, but it's best to let that poison go just for yourself. I mean, you don't have to like go back to that person or situation. Um, it's not right what they did, not condoning it, but it's just saying to let love into the situation. They're only working with the tools they have. Um, they might be at a lower level. Uh, lower vibration than you so it's best to just move on heal yourself on your own path and just bring love into the situation instead of, instead of letting all that negativity and poison eat you up where am i with my health goals where do i want to be why am i not there what will it take for me to feel well so maybe you're just feeling still kind of crappy a little bit not your self you've let your health go a little bit no exercising, eating bad foods and all that. So it's time to get your health goals back on, start eating better, getting some exercise in, taking care of your body. If my body could talk, it would say, and you have to say what this would be, Satch. What would your body say right now? Like you're neglecting it, you're not feeding it well, you're not getting enough rest. So today's soul action, feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health back to the next level. Yeah, so, you know, nurture yourself, nourish yourself, you know. Uh, like like I was saying with Leo, there's a new moon coming up and the sign of Leo on the 18th. It might be a good time to set some intentions on how you want your um, health goals would be. Physically, mentally, and spiritually, you know, set the intentions out there. And then you have sword, make the change. Yep, it's time to cut all that negativity out. You know, this, this fell for a reason. It's time for a transformation. It's time to move on. So it's time to take that sword and cut all that out and make a change. It fits right in with that death card and tower card. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what this one is. Healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in the abilities to stay true to your path as a healer. 
Yeah, so if you're feeling like you could heal uh, someone or maybe all this stuff happened so you could realize what it's like and be help, be able to help and heal other people with your story, you can be more empathetic to it now and understand it. So if there's anything you're trying to do with healing, now would be a good time to make that change. All right, so we have one last card for you, Sag. It's this card here. I love the little doves and flowers. Don't be afraid of the biggest unknown in your life, your potential. It's a gift you must unwrap every day. Yeah, so you have a lot of potential, Sagittarius. So instead of letting that stuff um, poison you, hold you down, it's time to get up, move on to your new path, let that go, and unwrap all your potential, possibly become a healer, or heal yourself, and move forward. So that's your message, Sagittarius. I hope that resonated with you guys. Um, and I hope you have a beautiful week. All you fire signs, take care. Bye.